so it is the beginning of Q4, October 1st, and things are popping off. Oh my goodness. What a time right now. What a time. And not so much in a good way either. Um, whew, We're going to talk about all the stuff that's currently happening. And it's only Tuesday, or as you guys are seeing this Wednesday, it's only Wednesday. And... um. Oh boy, this is going to be quite an interesting election, isn't it? Now, I understand that, guys, we are here an investing channel. But at the end of the day, you really can't separate the two, right? You really can't separate the two. People try that, oh, we're not going to get into politics. No, you kind of have to get into politics when you talk about economics because they're like this, right? They are essentially intertwined with each other. Geopolitics is intertwined with the economy. And we've seen that every single time we see some geopolitical tensions in the world. So I want to talk about all the stuff that's currently been happening to, uh, this week, essentially. And, uh, well, how is this going to affect markets and will it actually show itself as a great buying opportunity in the future but we're gonna start to make sure to like subscribe comment really does help with the algorithm on youtube as well so make sure to follow us on xf and investing if you like join us on the discord the link is in the description below so with that said let's get started with this video all righty guys so here we have the markets for today see anything uh, that catches your eye yeah markets were actually down not by a lot though now i don't consider one and a half percent on the nasdaq down per se but it's interesting because markets are down bitcoin is down which Bitcoin is no longer a hedge. Anybody who says that it is, it, it, it isn't, guys. I mean, Bitcoin, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but it's not. You know what it is, though? Gold, which is up just like crude oil. And this happened because of the fact that something major happened today, guys. And that is, of course, the fact that Iran is completely going after Israel right now. This is a video as to what we're seeing right here. Missiles fired from Iran. And, uh, well, NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, and lower as October starts with Iran launching missiles against Israel. Dear Lord. Now, the first thing, guys, I have to say is I pray for everybody uh, that is going through this. I really, really do. I do not want war. I am in, I, I really do despise war. I really do. I really, really do despise war. Especially wars that are ridiculous, which most wars are, right? Most wars are. The only type of war that I would kind of agree with would be something along the lines of, like, self-defense, uh, invasion of the United States. About that, anything beyond that point, that's it. I don't really care for it. Now, a lot of you may disagree with me on that. I personally don't really care, though. But this is something that is happening right now in the world. And, um, well, we got this article right here. Major U.S. equities averages finished lower Tuesday. When trading in October, starting with Iran launching a missile attack against Israel, uh, deepening conflict in the Middle East. This is after the fact that Israel invaded Lebanon. While major indices fell, oil prices haha, jumped. Haven assets such as gold rose and defense stocks moved higher. You can't make it up. The Israel Defense Force reportedly said Iran fired 180 missiles and no casualties were reported. Thank God for that, right? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for that one. The Nasdaq Composite ended one and a half points lower, and the S&P 500 down 0.9, their biggest losses since early September route. The Dow Jones down 0.6, down after three straight wins. The indices finished off-session lows. Wall Street widely watched vo volatile gauge VIX surge 15% and during the day it hits the highest level since mid-September above 20. Per above 20. So, Obviously, guys, that is the main thing here is the fact that, uh, yeah, Iran, and uh, here's a video again from Global Military Info on X, Iran has uh, fired off a lot of missiles into, uh, man, it, 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 this is, this is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. I, it, it really, really is. But as we just read, it did have an effect on stocks. More specifically, the defensive stuff, right? The actual defensive and hedges when it comes to against markets. We can see that crude gain today 1.5%, guys. It's currently at $70.88. Now, you guys can see that this is a pretty big spike, specifically starting at starting at market open, right? Starting at market open around 9.30. Boom, instant gap up. And it did have a little bit of a Pull back right there around, what is that, 130, 115 essentially, but it still ended a lot higher. However, if we take a look at this on the year to date, this is still 1% down on the year to date. Now, the other one that did gain a lot as well was gold. Guys, I am not against gold. I am just 
for buying things that actually, you know, assets that actually grow, right? Real estate and stocks. Gold is a great asset to just maintain value, not to grow value, not to build wealth. So that's essentially my whole stance on gold. And we can see that it did gain to a 0.84%. Which, uh, you know, it was uh, it was enough of a gain to being mentioned here in uh, in Seeking Alpha's articles, right? So that's essentially what happened with that. Now, we also had today the union strikes. The union, the union strike is a little bit old, but I, whew, man, there is this article right here that it is just absolutely bonkers. So for all those of you who do not know, uh, the port unions, like the you know, the, the, the dock workers, as you guys can see right there, union striked. And um, they're striking because they're losing their jobs to automation. And we can see that this guy, uh, I'm covering the first two words, but it says, I will cripple you. This is a quote. Longshoreman Union Prez warns America ha as dock workers strike takes hold of ports nationwide. I don't care. It's not fair. And if we don't put our foot down, they would like to run over us and we're not going to allow that. Now, that's kind of, I got to say, full disclosure, I am against unions. I really am against unions in the sense that I don't like that some unions force you to be in it and you have and you don't have a say in it. But at the end of the day, when it comes to unions, it's like, if people want to be in it, whatever. I just don't like to be forced to be in it. And some jobs are like that. But th the way that this guy talks is kind of crazy. We got over here, International Longshoremen Association, President Harold Daggett said the strike his union launched on Tuesday would quote unquote cripple, wow, America with a shutdown threatening much of the US economy, I will cripple you and you have no idea what that means. In a new scrum, Daggett said the issue for workers is protecting against automation, which he says is currently, quote, not strong enough because what happens is they come in with new technology. We just caught them in we just caught them in mobile, Alabama called Autogate, and that means that trucks are coming in and they're already checked in somewhere else and not using the checkers in the ILA to circumvent the contract. I don't care, he said. So I don't really know what any of that means or like its context, at least somewhat. I at least understand that the context is in regards to automation and that they are uh, they're, they're worried about, which I kind of do understand. Now, in the way... Yes and no. I fully understand that when it comes to these kinds of jobs, yeah, you don't want it to be taken away, right? You don't want it to be taken away, but technology is technology. Technology will eventually encroach in that kind of space. But at the same time, it's like, well, you can't tell these kinds of people that have been doing this for 20, 30 years to just stop what they're doing and learn, learn to code, right? And learn to code. So... I understand it, but at the same time, it's like you can't stop it. You can only slow it down. So that's all I'm saying with that. Not necessarily against automation. I'm for it. I mean, the whole thing of ChatGPT and AI is to make automation, to make it more efficient, right? But at the same time, I do understand it. But right here, this is a major, major event that's currently happening. And the fact of the matter is, is that all of this is culminating and such a nice, neat package for one specific date. But before we actually get to that, there is one more thing, guys. And that is, of course, Hurricane Helene, which has completely destroyed the South. Oh, dear Lord. In fact, it's so bad that you guys have noticed that we haven't live streamed. That's because Mike is without power. Mike is without internet. Thank God that he is good. He's safe. Nothing. You know, he all of his family's fine. Thank goodness he's in South Carolina. Um, but North Carolina got hit a lot. Granted, his area where he lives, I don't think it was hit too bad. Actually, I think it was hit pretty bad. But he's okay, right? He's he's perfectly fine. Just letting everybody know that, that he's good. So, guys, you have war. You have a strike. And you have a hurricane. And let me just remind everybody that this is with the current administration, which one of them, Kamala Harris, is currently running to be the next president. This is the same lady that is for price controls to stop price gouging. And let me remind everybody as well, increasing the long-term capital gains tax to upwards of like 45% or something crazy like that. And the worst one, a 25% tax on unrealized capital gains. So this is culminating in such a way that November 5th, guys, is the United States election for presidency. 
And, um, well, you know, again, financial channel, all of this has stuff to do with economy. All of this has everything to do with economy and how stocks will perform. Because we, what we saw today with Iran sending those missiles is, well, this, right? The massive downturn, at least not massive, but it was a pretty decent downturn in the market. Uh, you have the union strike workers. Guess what happens when the effects of those strikes start to trickle down into the economy and into earnings? Things are going to get bad. And then on top of that, with hurricane, all of that infrastructure is destroyed. Things that were made in those states that were destroyed by the hurricane now can no longer be made. So now you're going to have a massive shortage supply due to the hurricane and due to the union strike. And then at the top of that, a war. Everything around that region, in the Middle East region, that we get from there or any ships that pass through like the egypt uh, canal or or any of those like specific canals that go through through land all of that stopping so this could culminate in a complete catastrophe when it comes to the markets and we could actually see the recession unfold as well maybe this is why the fed began cutting rates because they foresaw this coming i don't really put past anything of them anymore i, I really really don't and then and on top of that the fact that the election is happening so this is going to be a complete mess, guys. It's October. We got like four four weeks and like five days, essentially, until the election. And uh, stocks are probably going to be the most volatile to date. We'll see what happens. Guys, stay safe out there. If you were with the hurricane, if you were impacted by, by the hurricane, I, I pray for you. Please, please, please make sure you 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 find water, you find help, you find food, um, you know, all of that. If you're in the Middle East, I pray that everything, you know, settles down quickly. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ has you, you guys in his hands. And, well, in regards to the union workers, pray for them as well, that they find guidance and knowledge to hopefully come up with a negotiation where this stops because this is going to be pretty bad in the upcoming days. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it might present itself, guys, for stocks to fall. And if it, they do fall, great buying opportunity, I guess. We'll see what happens with that. Again, stocks may not fall at all. We'll see. But anyways, that pretty much does it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. That's what's wrong. Make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And if you like, join us on Discord, which is the best way to get these videos. The link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.